Well, city and county leaders are still trying to figure out how to move forward on Bloomington's Monroe Convention Center expansion. Mayor John Hamilton says he's frustrated with the delay in getting a memorandum of understanding from the county, while county officials are wondering how the city plans to come up with another $30 million for the project. The original $30 million expansion estimate did not include a parking garage and the acquisition of land north of the current location. A report indicates the estimate to be closer to $60 million. Hamilton says the Bunger and Robertson lot created a great opportunity to bring the convention center closer to the downtown square. He says the city is looking at ways to fund the other costs. Uh, a new hotel. If, if it comes, would be primarily privately funded, which is what we've expected. But there could be partnerships with abatement. Tax abatement is another option to look at for these kinds of things. Um, but all that's in flux. Uh, there's no proposal yet in place. There's no design yet in place. He says other funding options include tax increment financing and selling some of the existing property that's not needed. County Council member Cheryl Munson says convention centers usually carry a deficit, so taxpayers shouldn't be concerned. But in truth, all convention centers have deficits, and the deficits are balanced against uh, the revenue that comes in from increased taxes and from visitor spending. Munson says the key component is the MOU that the city and county must agree upon for the project to keep moving forward. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Joe Wren. And Joe, Commissioner Julie Thomas told us that the commissioners wanted more information from the arch architects and were working through some of the consultants' uh, responses. Yeah, apparently they were going back and forth with no progress. Hopefully they'll take that new information, draft another MOU. She said they should have that in the next several weeks. We'll have to wait and see. Keep our eye on it for yeah. sure. Thank you, Barbara.